to it. You know, like <laughs> I didn't get a chance to see that shit. Right? Uh, yeah, it is a. Uh, it, it was. They had a whole team of scientists, and some of them did the work there, uh, like in Peru, and then some of them did, uh, was it Peru? Um, and then some of them did the work, like, uh, abroad. And when I say abroad, I think primarily in, in Russia, because one yeah. of the, the lead scientists, uh, in this case was a Dr. Konstantin Korotkov, Korotkov, uh, who apparently awesome is name. a, uh, awesome a profe- name. <laughs> he's Fucking a professor awesome at St. Petersburg University. Um, and then there's also Dr. Jose de Jesus Zalce Benitez, who is a forensic expert at the National School of Medicine of Mexico, and Natalia uh, Zalosnaja, uh, who's a PhD in head Im- image analysis of the Medical Institute uh, of St. Petersburg. Uh, also, these are the people who gave us the initial, um, t- like that ran that first battery of tests to kind of determine like what exactly that they were they were looking at. Did, Dan, do we know? Were the in this in this area of the world were they doing head binding? Um, the, the the in South America, like head binding was a thing. Elongated okay. skulls uh, are yeah. a real thing. They have an entire collection. They have hundreds of skulls. So probably. it wouldn't be unheard of to find no. a fucking elongated skull. No, we, no. they've okay. been finding okay. elongated skulls for for decades, if not centuries. Like we, okay. we've known about that that practice and that it has been practiced in certain parts of Central and South America. So it's not okay. like it wouldn't have been unusual because that's the first thing they kind of thought. Like you know, it's elongated skull, its head is it. That's not that's not unusual. But these three long fucking salad fingers whatever the fuck, fuck man are. it's too bad that shit it's <laughs> honestly it's so it's too bad i like living out of my time because i got that big fucking egyptian thing on the back somewhere in my dna like just pops oh yeah and i would be like oh that would be like royalty back then probably you <laughs> well, wouldn't even have you didn't have to do it it's just there naturally like it's fucking and i was thinking too like on the with the fingers and stuff i've always thought with the elongated skulls and stuff it's like they're trying what are they trying to you know make themselves or make the kids look like other than something they've saw right so if they've saw some sort of being come down with elongated skull like they're like hey i, I want my kid to look like Listen, this so then i can say like oh yeah, he's like one of them you're but, speaking from a position of fucking privilege here buddy yeah <laughs> and i'm gonna explain to you why okay <laughs> All right, because this 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 area of the world and the other area of the world where we did a lot of elongated skulls, me and Dan understand this. Okay, we do. We're just trying to add a little height wherever we can. Yeah, okay, oh, so yeah. add a little fucking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I'll take sense. it inch where I can get an inch. Yeah, yeah. All right? Anything you can stretch, you stretch. Like yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Right, a little elongated skull, a little you got gel. Your feet, what can your you feet do? Bind it into high heels. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, we're not a, uh, we're not tall people. Mm. Okay, but then I was thinking, like, if this is if if you know if just at first glance if this thing is a hundred percent human, and with the three fingers, maybe they were doing some sort of trying like other body modifications to make themselves look more like whatever these things that they saw were. Oh, that type of surgery back then, you're losing one in five. Yeah, <laughs> what if I'm yeah. Not surviving, right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, so it's or maybe it's a post mortem thing they would do, right? Like, where they're like, "All right, well, we'll make you look more like this." I wonder. You probably wouldn't be able. I don't know. With mummification, I don't think you'd be able to tell if they were, if they were posthumous or not. Uh, but yeah, it's. <laughs> So, I mean, you guys shouldn't have to worry about it because you have Dr. Konstantin Korotkov on the case, uh, who apparently, uh, from his qualifications, he is an expert and on on scientific or some would say pseudoscientific topics like a, uh, a form of Karelian photography uh, where he uses the... Uh, he uses photographs to investigate the physical manifestation of the soul leaving the body. So oh, yeah. that, that's a thing. Um, Some skull line shit. There. Yeah. I need to get them together. Maybe, maybe yeah. you can touch a skull line. He can give us some, Maybe he's a protege. Not sure. Uh, also, when I was watching some of the some of the footage that, that included him, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Samir Osmanovich in a hat, the guy from the Boston Pyramids. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that's him. Same guy, <laughs> fake mustache, yeah. two cell phones. He's got the cell phone yeah. in the ankle holster. Like, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's he's him. Got, yeah, he's got burned on the Bosnian thing. Now he's he's on to the next. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> so yeah, it's these um a lot uh, most of the information that comes from these things is is all in the Gaia stuff, which is now free. Back then it was I think it was like their big seller. This this it was called like Nazca Unearthed. Um, I think it was called, and it was like a it was a whole uh, ten or eleven episode, twelve minute episodes. Uh, yeah. Thing <laughs> that I was can't aired even on imagine Gaia. what they what they charged back in the day f- to watch this. <laughs> I think yeah, I think you had. I mean, I think it was on their channel. It was on like when they yeah. started doing the stream. Well, that was you their. Can't big put a price on truth. All right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we gotta know the truth, buddy. Yeah. And um, so the uh, uh, like I said before, uh, if, when you were paying, everybody was paying attention. Is like that. That wasn't the only body that was found. That was probably the largest body, though. But there were two smaller bodies that were included uh, with this discovery. So there was these two smaller bodies measuring about two feet tall, which had 11 vertebrae, three fingers, and three toes, like uh, much like Maria. Uh, uh, it's very consistent, consistent with the digits, yeah. eh? The tra- <laughs> fucking traveling circus here. <laughs> uh, and they, they, they named one... Um, they named one Victoria, who the 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 body was not as well preserved as Maria was. Like it was actually headless, and they were they all seemed to be put in like a, a posed position, which was the um the the arms wrapped around the knees, which is a very that was a traditional pose for like I said before the the the, the human Nazca mummies that had been found uh, and discovered in those parts and that part of the world. Uh, that was the natural pose that they usually kind of wrapped them in some kind of um uh, you know some type of animal leather. No, it's like a uh, well, it's like a fetal position, like too, a sack. Right? Like, yeah, they kind yeah. of just put them in like a bag and like put them down in there. Um, well, I think it's once the and Andrew, correct me if I'm wrong, but like once you get them in that position and rigor mortis sets in, you can just roll them pretty much, right? Wow, well, like they're in a ball. You just there you go, roll them, yeah. Well, especially when they don't have a head, that's probably how the head came off, yeah. <laughs> During the roll, whoops, just kick it under the table, yeah. Um. So when I when I looked at when I looked at the bodies, I always I, I thought something was really strange because it's like when you look at humans and you know and you look at our hands, you look at our hands, um, you'll find that they are they are fairly symmetrical for most of us who didn't play with fireworks early in life. Yeah, um, yeah. They're mostly um, and, and learned an invaluable lesson about fireworks safety. Um, they're fairly symmetrical. When you look at these ones, their hands like. Even though they are like weird, and you're like, okay, maybe they're like they're alien hands, sure. Um, they're not like they don't look the same. Like the hands, like they're like a little bit shorter. Like the fingers a little yeah. bit shorter on one hand than they are on the other. Like it looks you, got a strong hand. Hand. you want to know how I know this is a scam? <laughs> these fucking these you can't play basketball with these hands. <laughs> right, yeah, there's no way. There's no space the- jam. Yeah, no these monsters. were the monsters. The there's cops. no monsters. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they were. These are the guys before they became the monsters, right? Like the guys on Moron Mountain or whatever. These guys got cut. They got cut from the monsters. Yeah, okay, maybe <laughs> that's okay. Before they stole all the souls, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, but uh, yeah, so you had these other two things, which uh, you know, on the f- when they were discovered with Maria, I think the assumption was that they were uh, uh, that these were her maybe her children or offspring of some type uh, because of the similarities and in, in their, their bodily structures that they had these, the three fingers and the three toes. Um, Are we sure that these aren't fey folk? <laughs> I could be, I mean, come on the, um, <laughs> maybe they could be uh, because it, it, with fey folk and their, their uh, relationship with the, with the natural world, with perhaps plants would be a, a good explanation as to why that these, at least one of these, what they said, like Victoria, who is the headless one, um, they, they could see pretty much like where I, I guess what they would refer to as like the spinal column like the the spinal column area uh where the head had detached uh there were there were fibers almost like plant like fibers uh kind of coming out of that uh of that structure that anatomical structure that was what it looked like is that the spine would like go up into the head which is not normal <laughs> some exactly. sort of, maybe they had some sort of, like their their spinal cord didn't fucking uh decompose like i don't know that's weird it could be. yeah it's um it, it seems like a lot of the 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 joints uh especially in the hands of some of the extremities is, is stuff that's like these these creatures wouldn't have been uh it, it, 
they wouldn't have been very flexible. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.